Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, like, subscribe, share on Twitter, on YouTube, on Rumble, at Third Railify, those three places. That would mean the world to me. Absolutely the world. All right, thank you for doing that. Let's talk about the the news story. It's, it's a bit of Canadian news, but it's, 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 it's kind of funny. Not funny, haha, but kind of like weird. Like, oh, that's peculiar. In Halifax, a young woman sort of, sort of died inside of an oven. And you would think, well, that's, that's weird. Why is a woman dying inside of an oven? It's not late 30s Germany. No, you're, it's, you're right. It's not. It's not. But so here is a chilling emergency services dispatch call has laid bare. How a 19-year-old girl became trapped in an oven at a Walmart, ultimately leading to her death. The story is rather bizarre. So they do have very, very large walk-in ovens. If you were to imagine a walk-in freezer, well, imagine that, but an oven where multiple things can, can be put. Apparently, these walk-in ovens have great big safety things. So the oven was doing something and you are in maybe pulling something out or sweeping something out or whatever. And that door were to close. They have big emergency buttons to like forcefully open the door. It's supposed to be impossible to get trapped in one of these things. Obviously, if you're the, if you're the maker of this oven, you're going to go, well, we needed some serious redundancies. But somehow they all failed. And this girl was just trapped in there. Very, very bizarre. So the teenager was working at the Halifax store in Nova Scotia when she became trapped inside a walk-in oven in the bakery on Saturday night. A dispatch officer described the unfolding tragedy first to first responders, revealing there was a female locked in the oven in the bakery. Oven is on, unsure if staff are able to turn it off. This is where, I mean, we're already kind of weird, right? But this is where it takes another bizarre, weird turn. It is understood that the girl only arrived in Canada within the last three years and was closely linked to the Maritime Sikh Society. So if you know anything about Canada or Justin Trudeau or India, you'll know that Canada has a very tumultuous relationship with India. Our countries are, you know, the relations are getting chilly. I guess we could say that. the relations are quite poor. There's a large section of in Indians, I guess they're technically Indians, that want to uh, separate into their own country called Khalistan. Well, those people are basically deemed in the eyes of India as terrorists. For some reason, they all come to Canada. And so we are harboring a whole bunch of Indian separatists where they've set Canada up as their as their base of operations to run so they can make their own country in India. It's very, very bizarre how Canada has allowed this to happen. Anyways, so India allegedly has sent hitmen to kill a bunch of these, these, these terrorists, these, these people, right? I told you, it's getting very, very weird. And so this girl, she arrived in Canada within the last three years and was closely linked to the Maritime Sikh Society. So she is sort of in the mix with this. I'm not saying anything about her. She could literally just be a girl. But it's possible that there was some Indian, some Indian customer, Indian co-worker in, who, who also was like, you know what? I don't like your kind. I'm going to put you in the oven. I mean, that's how crazy. Now, that's all conjecture. But we'll get into that a little bit later. By the time the first responders arrived on the scene, they told dispatch the woman was out of the oven. But th then she died at the scene. So she was pretty uh, badly uh, cooked. She was cooked. It's uh, very sad for us, for her family as well, because she came for a better future and she lost her life. And Malpreet Singh, a member of the Maritime uh, Sikh Society, told Global News. Halifax Regional Police stressed the investigation is ongoing and that a medical examiner will determine the official cause of death. I suspect it was the oven. 
Martin Cromwell, a police officer in Halifax, described the investigation was complex, and it will be complex for some of the reasons why I, I described that this oven shouldn't have been able to do the thing that it did. And we'll take a look at the oven in just a second. Uh, he said, we understand the public is involved and we just want to encourage the public to be patient with our investigation and be mindful that there are family members and co-workers involved. Walmart, of course, they are heartbroken and sad and said all the things a corporation would say when somebody died in their store. Halifax Regional Police said on October 19th at approximately 9.30 p.m., police were called to a sudden death at Walmart located, uh, you know, in its location. 19-year-old woman at the store was found deceased. Investigators are working closely with Occupational Health and Safety and the Nova Scotia Medical Examiner to determine the cause and manner of death. So this in investigation is in its early stages. But now there's a disturbing new twist. And I mean, it's already very disturbing, but there's already twists in this whole thing um, of the Halifax worker who was baked to death in the industrial oven. Right. So a Walmart stores, a walk in oven where a 19 year old woman died in horrific circumstances was not lockable. Sources claim so as I pointed out in the in the. Um, beginning of this video is. It wasn't lockable. There's no reason she should have been trapped. And there's 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 there's, there's buttons and and releases. If it, if it closes, there's there's things like you. There's no circumstance in which you should be trapped in there. So immediately, people are thinking, well, it has to be nefarious. Then Canada's national uh, broadcaster CBC News, uh, who's famously in the pocket of Justin Trudeau, just throwing that out there has said their sources had told them the appliance at the Halifax store did not lock. That raises disturbing new questions about the October 19 death, with previous reports highlighting a 911 call that said that the woman was trapped in the oven. The victim, who has not been named, emigrated from India to Canada around three years ago. Police continue to investigate, but there is not yet any suggestion the victim fell to foul play. Mourners have been arriving at the uh, at the, the Walmart. It's a big superstore, Walmart, in droves since the tragedy, laying flowers and, and, and wreaths and all the wonderful things that a community should do to rally around a tragedy like this. So conspiracy theories about what happened to her have swept the internet alongside unverified reports of her identity. And so the reason why we have the conspiracy theories is because the whole thing about this was an Indian girl and she was a part of the, the Sikh society in Canada and India kind of have a thing. So in, in Canada, we have this weird turf war. There's a battle where, where, where the separatists and, and, the, and the, the nationalist Indians, they're literally killing each other. So that's where the conspiracy theories are flying about. But investigators have urged people not to speculate while the victim's family have asked for privacy. It's hard not to speculate when you have such an absolute bizarre story. And you have all these, these little facts that are just sitting out there. They're just sort of hanging. And you're like, these dots really feel like they need to be connected. So this is a picture of the oven. So they say that th this oven shouldn't be able to close or uh, lock rather it's just it's just uh it's just a big door and there there's supposed to be some some release mechanism on on the inside as as well from from everything i have read about that uh so the oven was industrial and large enough for a person to step inside Police told the publication that the young woman had been working the day of the tragedy. Officers are no longer on scene, but an investigation is still ongoing. The Nova Scotia Department of Labor has since issued a stop work order for the bakery itself, as well as one piece of Walmart equipment. They have not specified which piece of, of equipment is under that order. Maybe it's the oven. <laughs> Efforts are underway to bring her immediate family members uh, from India 
uh, probably for a funeral and uh, things like that. And yeah, so the um, this goes on to talk about the the nine one one call, which was I guess was pretty horrific about that. Um, and yeah, the staff expected like the the Walmart's not open, right? But staff they're they're getting paid for the week. Um, sympathies, complex investigation. That is the rest of the, the story. So I guess. Probably at some point more details will emerge on this, um, but it's crazy. This has this has a this is it's what it is. It's a real who done it. So I don't know. So I guess thoughts and prayers uh, to this uh, young girl's family, and uh, I don't know. Don't go in any ovens. I guess. And I'll comment below if you have to go into an oven. I want to, I want to hear about this. It's wild to me. Anyways. Um, Oh, that's an awful way to go. I just, it sucked that this girl had to go through that. Anyways, I love you. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.